Hey there, Sagittarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. Only love and light is welcome. Thank you. Let's see what we've got coming through. For Saggy, please and thank you. Wow, first card out is the sun. The happiest card in the deck. Um, so we're just going to leave it right there. No, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But wow, isn't that one heck of a card? <laughs> Your first card says so much about the reading, your current energy, and where it's going. It's the most impactful. And the fact that it's a divine, a major arcana, so a divine energy. Like... Ascension, illumination, warmth. I'm hearing um, there's a lot of value and appreciation surrounding you at this time as well. And I think it's because you've been putting that energy out into the world and the people around you. You have a much deeper and higher understanding of what's going on. Overstanding of what's going down. Like it's... it's There is such a balance with you right now. Mm. A lot of energy as well. So be mindful who you're giving it to, what you're giving it to. You're probably going to manifest like crazy. You just think about it and boom, it's there. of wands you think it and there it is there's so much energy there's so much passion here as well because you know what you're going to do with this energy and it's all things good i'm also getting this is this is on another level for you. I don't think you've been here before, like this clear about your life or your spiritual path. Um, either you haven't been this clear on what you want, who you are, or it's just been a really long time since you've been this clear. You know what I mean? And by that, I mean crystal clear. I don't care how deep the water is. You can see all of the little stones at the bottom. <laughs> all of it. For Sagittarius, please and thank you. Wheel of Fortune. I do have a side note here. Somebody is terrified of rejection here. Um, they're also terrified that if they reach out, you're not actually single. Or they're just terrified that you wouldn't be interested in them. Um, somebody does want to communicate with you. But... They're very mercurial about it, and it has a lot to do with fears. I don't think this is fears of abandonment. I think this person just has a past. It may or may not be with you, but they do have a past. Yeah, tower card. They're worried about that past coming and tearing things down, but they do want to communicate. And it could be an important relationship. Anyways, let's see. So Wheel of Fortune is here. This is your birthright. All that fire. Wow. <laughs> and the Wheel of Fortune is your card. It's also talking about having favor, being protected, completions, karma, or dharma, I should say, right? Ten of Cups. My gosh. So you have the happiest card in the deck and the happily ever after card. 
and the jackpot card. Like, Saggy, everything you touch turns to gold right now. I don't even know what to say. There's so much energy here. How do you put that into words? There are so many blessings and positive, like, how, how do I put this into words? Angelic. Divine. Untouchable, unstoppable. And not even aware of that all the time because you're just that focused. Look at that judgment. I have a very strong feeling that something is being resurrected. It could be something inside your soul is resurfacing. It could be a gift that you had in a past lifetime that is resurfacing. This could be I don't think it's a person. I don't. I know there's somebody watching this that really wants this to be about a person. I don't think it is. Maybe it is. It could be. But like that's not the main focus here. That energy's not strong enough to like this is talking about so much more than just that. So much more than just that. Mm. Yeah, high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. Exactly. I feel, I was just about to say, I feel like you know things that, how do I even word this? You're a spiritual threat, but not because you try to be threatening, you're just a force to be reckoned with. You know things that, it's like, how could you possibly know that? Because you've done the research. And because you've allowed yourself to know yourself at such a deep level. You can see that depth in everything around you as well. I'm heavy getting tarot reader. Yeah, magician <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. So there you go, High Priestess and Magician. That's one of the most powerful relationships in the tarot. So if this is about relationship, it's... You have no idea. Ooh, but you do. You do have an idea. This is also somebody thinking that you got away. And I think they've spiritually done the work you're going to be surprised who it is that's meeting you where you're at but very happily surprised this this is a good surprise <laughs> anyways we have leo sagittarius libra aquarius pisces virgo and gemini on the table i'm going to leave it right here i hope this message helps who it needs to how it needs to i love you guys and i will see you soon until then stay beautiful